we have new Barbie 2021 Ken fashion packs coming up after this. Alright, I have my made to move Kens and they are getting fashion makeovers today. We're going to put on these new awesome Barbie fashion packs that come in these cool packages. I love the new packaging. You can get shoes, you can get two packs, you can get fashionistas in these bags. Let's hope that it continues. The one sad part is we don't have the hangers on these ones. They have started turning these hooks into hangers. I found these at Walmart in Canada in store and these are the only packs I found so that might have something to do with it. Maybe these are the newest and then after these they decided to make hangers or maybe they think that the hangers won't fit the boys clothes because they're a little too big for them. The smaller packs have a little ziplock. The other ones have a full functioning zipper. We have this pack that says Paradise, I believe, on it. We have a belt and a pair of pants. People are always happy to see the pants. They look like awfully slim pants, though. This is the fan favorite and definitely my favorite. I can't wait to find the rainbow sweatsuit in the two-pack for the girls, too, to go along with this. I mean, it is available on Amazon, but Amazon has been doing this horrible thing in Canada and up-pricing all of their products in Barbie for some reason. Usually you can get the best price, but they have doubled the prices. And then we have this pack. Its extra accessory is a silver watch. Oh, and I didn't mention we get sneakers with this one, shoes. And unlike most of these packs over the last few years, two sets would come with shoes and two sets would come with two different accessories. This time, we only get one pair of shoes and three other different accessories. So we get glasses, watch, shoes, and belt. So a little bit of everything, that's cool. And then we get this baseball themey one, just a five. I'm surprised it doesn't say whenever Ken's birthday is. It is his birthday this year and he is 60, 60 years old. So I'm gonna take these out of the package and here is what the little bag looks like. I'm really excited to find the shoe sets too in even smaller bags. I just wanna collect all these bags now. I know people are gonna ask, the underwear that they have on are the WWE girl shorts. And the little zipper can slide right off the bag if you're not careful because mine just went flying. I'm gonna have to remember to look for that later. I've already decided who's gonna wear what. If you took note of who was holding what, that is the fashion pack that I've chosen for the doll. And these pants look really skinny, so hopefully they fit. If you notice, it doesn't say Ken on these packets anywhere. So I don't know how you're really supposed to know. And I also wanna save this amazing cardboard. Well, it looks like they're all the same. Unlike with the fashionistas, they all had a different 90s print on the back, but that is what it looks like. Love that. Love this whole 80s retro thing going on this year. Really cute pink t-shirt. Really nice pants. Super 90s. I believe I had a pair of those. This does not look like something we've had before. It looks like something that might have been available in the 90s, but I don't remember seen that belt before. If you've seen it before, you let me know in the comments below. I really like its silver color. Well, this is cool. It is a long sleeve sweatshirt, but it's a nice thin material, so it's going to look more realistic. Then we have these cute shorts that it looks like Barbie will be able to get away with wearing. So they look like clouds to me, so I love that. The watch from the color blocking set. It's a really nice looking watch. Whoops, let's go back to the sneakers. That's my least favorite kind of style of sneaker, but they look like they're more current and will be better for performance. I think I might be style before function. And then we have this polyester polo with the color blogging. It's a very uh, sporty nylon-y material. No pocket jean shorts with that kind of tie-dyed 
acidy look. They kind of look like clouds too. I guess they're just faded. And then these are the glasses that go with the baseball outfit. Oh, those are nice. See the magnification of this will be my opportunity to try them on. They're aviators. They're my favorite glasses to wear. Yeah, they look good. Super cool, yeah. Okay, got that out of the way. Oh, they seem to always have an outfit like this. So it doesn't fasten in the front, which it's fine, I guess, because it's a tropical print, so it's gonna be a very summery look. Oh, and here's something I definitely love to get. We have an army green one from a set not too long ago, but we have these simple red gym shorts. These are my jam. I would prefer them in a heather gray, but a very useful piece. Just comfortable little red jersey shorts. Let's start with them. His little undies are dictating his outfit. I know that uh, these dolls would be more popular, and I do promise that I am going to do a new Ken Tones video. If you haven't checked out my Ken Tones video, it tells you all the different skin tones match the BMRs, but I will do a part two or an updated video of that because of all of the new Kens that we have. And this new Ken body, this is the wheelchair Ken body with the fashionista with hair but I needed to have all made to move hair guys in this video. But this body is matching a lot of heads, so it is a good one to have. But here he is in those shorts, and then he's got his baseball jersey on. It's not flattering. It might be his coloration, because he's so pale, and the shirt's so pale. I find that, that I don't look good in every kind of neck either. But it's a pretty cool outfit. I love the Hawaiian print. I love the tropical influence that is happening with Barbie this season. And I have seen that most people aren't that happy about it, but I love it. And those are really, really nice sunglasses. So now this guy, green haired Ken. So these are the flat front pants. They look pretty nice on him. Seems like all of these clothes are made to fit the standard. The bras aren't going to have much luck putting on any of these fashion packs. I mean, the shirts they might squeeze into. But what's really interesting is I think that they're making them so that they'll also fit on Barbie. So this is my least favorite shirt. It looks nice on though. I'm having some problems with the threads in the neck and making that seam lie flat in the other direction. Oh, looks like I've turned it down. It looks better. It does fit really nice. It's a nice loose and I like the color blocking. I really want to see what he looks like next to the color blocking fashionista can. I'm going to pull that out for sure at the end of the video and we can see what they look like together. But it's made really nice and I like the stitching that they put in the neck. Yeah, it looks a lot better on. I just, just thought I'm not a fan of this kind of material in real life for wearing. And I don't really like color blogging, but now that he has it on, it's nice. And then he came with, oh, they have thicker wrists, these Kens, I believe. This watch that I'll show you again. It's a really nice timepiece. I remember remarking on that the last time I got that in a pack. But yeah, that, he looks really smart. I'm disappointed that that's just a five. They could have at least made it a 60 for 60 years if they weren't gonna put his actual birthday year. I matched him with the blue because orange and blue are complementary colors. So he's gonna look good in blue. He's got a very pink skin tone. It's very specific. So these are gonna look like underwear or pajamas, but I like them. And in uh, the 80s and 90s, I would choose blues like this to wear so yeah that's looking good he's looking beach ready like that he's got like a surged bigger neck it's kind of buckling but i don't mind it it just doesn't seem like it fits because everything else is so tidy like if you have a surged neck up there i would think you'd have a surged waistband the sleeves are also surged like this but we're getting a long sleeve sh shirt, so that's nice. You know the rule, if you're showing too much skin down here, then you don't show too much skin up here. And if you show lots of skin up here, you don't show too much. I think that might be only applicable 
for ladies to keep things modest. And again, this is probably the favorite. Oh, this is the different, weirder plastic. They're using a different plastic that feels a little cheaper, but there's something about it that's nice because it's flexible. Anyway, fan favorite for sure because you get shoes and people are going to like this complete outfit the most. The fans really like getting the shoes. I love the shoe packs. Again, I can't wait to get the shoe pack like that even though I have that in the boxed version and it looks like it's the same shoes as we got for the Ken shoe pack last year. Yeah, hands down favorite. Cozy, comfortable, cute, and shoes. Now I guess it would have been the 90s that I was wearing pants like these. And they're made of a very nylon material, so it feels like a raincoat. But when they were making pants like this, they would be in this cotton that felt like nylon. I remember, I remember having pants just like this. And they fit very, very well. They're just a flat front and there's no pocket details or stitching details. I think that's fine. In fact, I kind of like when pants do that because pants can become hippie when they have pockets in the wrong places. And I chose this outfit for him because it's the most surfy 70s to go with his hair. And yeah, paradise, paradis. He looks great in that. That's a really cool, funky shirt. His pants are great. And what is the accessory? Oh, it's this crazy belt. And it attaches with hole and peg system. I don't want to put it over the shirt. I don't want you to see it. So it's funny, it doesn't buckle at the buckle. It buckles there. I put it on its second hole. Let's try putting it on the smallest hole. I guess I should have put it on before the shirt. It's nice, it looks cool. I like the chain. Subtle, nice. All right, what do you think of these? Are you excited to get them? I am planning on also doing a video on all of the fashion packs of 2021 and talking about them. So let me know if you wanna see that. And also please leave a comment down below. Let me know which outfit is your favorite and also let me know which single piece of clothing is your favorite. I hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the end. I have to do a color blocking comparison. We'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, they are totally the same colors. It's more of a match than I thought. The sleeves are on the same side. The red and the blue, there's no purple over here. But I guess that's why I needed to see that. Pretty sweet. And then just a little bonus for you. This head is actually the same skin tone as this Ken body. So I do have an extra one of these heads. I don't have an extra one of these bodies, but I don't know if I'm going to invest another $30 in another one of these for this head or just swap them back and forth when I use them. These are bad financial times and there's a lot of awesome new Barbie stuff. Go get it. Oh my goodness, look at this too. What is going on here? So many coincidences.